Seems like it. We should be locked in good. Corbin, he's... Oh, good for him. Well, I see myself and I hear myself. That means we are locked in and live, ready and recording. So welcome back in, everybody. This is the live stream Let's Play of an old game. MLB The Show 16. <laughs> As we continue to follow, watch, and document this career of one Casey Braxton. Road to the show career, that is. We've been in the show for a while. Matter of fact, we're going to get ourselves into the month of June here, 2021. Might have been a little while since, uh, oh, what are we looking at here? Contact, uh, I don't know. Nothing for batting. Well, that's fun. Anyway. Um, when we last left you, yeah, we got towards the back end here. Finally lost a game. Pretty bad against Pittsburgh, not gonna lie. Nothing against the Road Grays, but I kind of like... Well, the one that says Cubs is better, for me. On the road, here we go. But, um... Yeah, the baseball season has started. April 1st, that was last Thursday. No joke. Today being Friday, April 9th. All good. Let me just check. Uh, okay, so I'm there. Gotcha, gotcha. Woo! Stream Elements, thank you for posting that. I'm now live, playing a game. But the banner of the game in which I'm playing is not being shown. So that's kind of, you know, a little... That's kind of hurtful. Why you gotta be like that? There we go, that should work. Anyway, <clears throat> baseball season has started. I've been trying to watch every day if I can help it. 12 strikeouts, last start. Ugh. And my Cubs, no, they're not my Cubs. The Cubs, looking okay so far. It's early. I mean, they look competitive. Pitching still not great, not to where I want it to be. But, uh, yeah, Cardinals. Division rival. You see, in the Cardinals nowadays, I mean, they got Arenado. I mean, I said a couple years ago when they brought in Paul Goldschuh, and I'm like, that team's just ready to hurt people. Now, strangely enough, they haven't gotten that, you know, into that direction. Look at me batting 630, nine hole. Huh. Not to say I should be the leadoff man. I should not. I should be the third or fourth batter. Leading off for Saint Nothing Lewis. doing for us in the top of the Second first, so let's Shakes just up. start it up. Ah. Huh. All right, cool. All cool. The count. Early Friday morning for me doing this. No Whoa. Ball, Whiffing on El Sweeperoo. That's a lot of bend. Look at that thing. Well, let's get him with it. Well, oh, it just stayed in, huh? Got him. Still three pitches gets the out. That's Got all I was second. hoping for. Center fielder, Rick Ames. I'm Rick Ames. Well, never mind. <laughs> Rick Ames. Hey! He's got, a, like, a unique batting uh, stance. That's like an all-star or a legend or something like that. Hey! That ain't standard. I, mean, I thought it was going to be like Nomar, the way he kind of... I thought he was going to go to his wristers, his elbow pad and all that stuff. Oh, but the cutter. Cutter gets him. Super freak, he gone. Hayward and Bryant got the gloves. I mean, I thought Russell was pretty good with the glove. I thought Rizzo was pretty good with the glove. Baez is playing center field. Did I see that right? Wow. Hey! Unless I saw that wrong. Oh, and one. Oh, bad one pitch. And one. But as I got myself back into the mix of things, I was actually uh actually gone for a stretch of time. Bad pitch, but it landed nicely. Oh, I was actually up in Nashville. No. End of March into early April. Nice over the shoulder, and thank you for that one, Hayward. All right, and got a new copper mug. This one's a pure copper mug. Mm -hmm. The old one that I had... 
Hey, we got one on the board and a man on second, so a good base hit should score him. A good base hit. Let's just get a double or a triple anyway. But oh, I got this copper mug at a local distillery. Oh, up the middle, that's kind of good. Is he going? He's going to go. He's safe, I'm safe, good. Like I said, double, let's get that ribby. Go talk to your guy, that's, that is embarrassing. Jason Hayward. Yeah, a local uh, distillery near. Did I say brewery? I'm sorry. It was a distillery. He's safe. All their own spirits, if you will. Interesting place. Small local uh, Fort Lauderdale to do. In case you're wondering, it is the the chain bridge. You know, like a like a chain, like a bicycle chain, or a a link chain and bridge like going over the water chain bridge distillery um well he just made that there catch but <clears throat> well we need a good base hit to get me home now batting third baseman chris, chris bryant unless i'm wrong chris bryant's usually good to hit a home run when i'm on base every here and there he's good like that Whoa. Ones the count. I mean, you got to make contact, but but anyway, I went to plenty of distilleries in Nashville, and Nashville, let me just say, that is one of the coolest cities I've been to. Not that I've been many places, but everything just, if you look like on Google Maps, it's just like there's a circle of highways that goes around the downtown stretch. If you're in that little downtown area, in their main road of Broadway, that's the best. Because any place that serves food or drinks pretty much has a live band playing in it. I mean, like, I'm not the biggest, like, country music fan, but I can definitely appreciate live music. I'm sure, like, uh, well, when we got there, and the, the well, the, not that weekend, at least, there was bad storms that was going through all Tennessee. All right, come on, that's perfect timing, but catch it. Thank you. I uh, went there with my girl, and... That's another story altogether. Like, we were thinking, like, yeah, let's just let's take a trip. Let's go somewhere. <clears throat> now she has her passport. I do not. I never had one. Uh, get your passport. Get that locked in. I, you know, delaying. A lot of work has been happening recently. Oh. That should have been a strike. But uh, yeah, it's like let's go somewhere. Eh, okay. Well, well, you don't need a passport to go to Puerto Rico, so that's kind of cool. I mean, that looked like a, a little poop shot. But, uh, you don't need a passport to go to Puerto Rico. Okay, well, but if I don't need a passport to go to Puerto Rico, it's going to be like spring break time, and, and I don't know how crazy it gets in Puerto Rico. Like, eh, I'm not sure, whatever, you know. It's like, if we can always go there, it's like, I don't, uh, let's, uh, let's let it wait, I suppose. Let's stay... Let's just go somewhere in the States. Well, where are you thinking? Oh, geez, I don't know. I mean, Savannah, Georgia, maybe Myrtle Beach, Phoenix, you know. Something something cool both, that both of us have never been to. Never been to Nashville, and she's traveled more than I have. So it's like, oh, okay, well, we'll, we'll do Nashville. That's that's fine, you know. Started to watch that Anthony Bourdain episode. I think that was, uh, I think that was No Reservations from years ago. But watch that one. It's like, okay, I wrote down a couple places. I don't think we went to any of those spots. Three to nothing. Did we have three? I thought we only had the two. Oh, well. Now we got three. But though we didn't go to the places that uh, Bourdain went to, love the guy, still want to be him when I grow up, except not a chef. I'm not that good of a cook. I crockpot my meals. Nope, that's a ball. Oh, come on. Is a lucky take. Woo! Two balls, two strikes. Well, if he's looking down, how did he think that thing was going to be down? Oh well. Well, now he's just out altogether. But I did go to Hattie B's. And Hattie Not B's Hattie. is like the best spicy Rubber fried chicken open. on the planet. Lone Star. Lurk and twerk time. Lurk and twerk time. Welcome in Lone Star to the live stream Let's Play of MLB The Show 16. Yes, 
Baseball season is upon us, and I'm still playing this. No, that's but if it's lurking to work, all good. I was just talking about my trip to uh, Nashville, in case you still got your ears on. But Nashville, right. great place to go check out. Just get yourself downtown within that highway loop. If you look at, at Nashville on Google Maps, it's just there's just a circle of highways around the downtown stretch, right along the Cumberland River. And then get yourself on Broadway. That's where everything is, pretty much. Everything's walkable from there. Which, like, that's big for me. We got three and two. I, I don't imagine I would like New York City, Manhattan, whatever, but... Ooh, the cut fastball, he's gone. But everything being walkable, like, that's probably where it's easy. Nine. Yeah, Nashville, like, I... My girl and I are already talking, like, yeah, we should go back. Like, Nashville was that enjoyable. And okay, it's, sure, this was late March into early April. And there were bad storms rolling through. Cold rain. But, like, she's, she's a... You know, she's Haitian. From North Miami. Cutter, and he's gone. Get some strikeouts here. So Haitian, like she's got island blood, right? Very warm temperature. So like, you know, 40, 50 degrees with a breeze and it's raining, it's like, that's miserable for her. And I get that, like I grew up in Wisconsin, I have Viking blood in me, right? I'm okay with the cold. I can deal with it better than most. Even people that are from there. Now, not so much, but... Hey, you know what? A simple grounder, I'll take it. I wouldn't mind getting these big split shots that give me like a double, a triple, but. Now batting. Right fielder, Jason Hayward. But Nashville being a very, very cool area. Oh. Ow. Almost He's ran out. me over. Come on, Hayward, double play and we're done. That's no fun. Into the fourth we go. Off the Cardinal fourth. Second baseman. Number 22. Well, like, the Johnny Cash, like, museum is right there, downtown Nashville. The Country Music uh, Hall of Fame is right downtown. Like, Hall of Fame and Museum, I do believe. Plenty of hotels. Now, it's not a good driving city. There, There's not much for, like, parking garages or stuff like that. Nashville is extremely walkable all the way around. But if you have, if you're going and renting a car and all that stuff, might be a problem. If you don't mind Ubering to most places, unless you just want to stay downtown. But if you want to check some other distilleries that are a, a little bit out of the way, the Nelson's Greenbrier was another one we went to. Really cool place. That whole building, like they are housed in that building, but there's like there's a Jack Daniels like shop, not the distillery. Nope. That is a strike. I'm sorry, Mr. Umpire. Help me out here. Oh! I was gonna say, don't you round that corner. We'll be done. Center oh, that's what? Oh, Rick Ames. Rick Ames. He's not likely to steal. Ames. Doesn't mean he won't. Oh, and one. Oh, Chopper, get the front man at least. There's one. He's out. There's two double He's play. Out. Gentlemen, thank you for that one. Now we just get the batter and we're good. Ain't no worry. Ain't no worry. I'll take that. I'll take that strike. Yeah, it says the baseball season's begun. I mean, that's, it, it's great. I enjoy baseball. I can have it on in the background as I'm reading, studying, whatever. With a workout. Just, I enjoy baseball. It is my... That's my yeah. summer sport. Hockey is my winter sport. Now, I don't watch hockey nearly as much. I do not. Do. Oh. Let's strike him out. Up and in. There you go. See, yeah, that's all you need, Mr. Catcher. Well, see, and he didn't do much damage. Really? That thing went that far. That looked like it was in on his hands. 
That did not sound like as much contact as like they made it out to be. Oh, whatever. He's out, is my point. They got the one hit. But the double play, like, they're still in batting order. Leading off for the Cardinals. Right fielder, Stephen Piscotti. Pisco. The Pisco kid, I don't know. Now I'm just making up stuff. Stephen Piscotti and his favorite dessert is a lemon biscotti. Are you kidding me? Jason Hayward with the catch. Up next for the Cardinals, the shortstop. This guy. Ryan. He's got Go the glove ahead. of gold as I'm running around like a fool. Half a fist pump there. I thought I thought there was a little one. I wish you could like celebrate with, you know, something like that. Like, you know, NBA 2K did it. I don't know if they still do. Like you dunk on somebody and like you just the right analog stick, move it up or right or down or, you know, and you can kind of program. Woo! Straight back. That will almost like come flying to me. It's like you dunk on somebody, they like whatever, pound your chest, or you do the, okay guys, come on, let's play defense, oh, let's fair. not cheer, let's not, let's get back to it, all that stuff, something like that, little celebrations, goings, you wait for your pitch, man, ooh, the cutter in that low away spot, I mean, that's in there, though, I mean, you could argue it touched the line to Third go out, to but that's not good zero. enough. Trent not good enough. I mean, look, and that's another thing I never felt this game did so much with batters striking out looking. Ball it's usually like, time. if you got like K-9 maxed out, well, it's just, then they're swinging and missing. And I get that's how strikeouts generally happen, probably the most. But even like, and I'm not saying 60 40, maybe it's 70 30, maybe 80 20. I do not have people striking out looking that often. Maybe recently within this season. Because even in the last episode, I think that was kind of a thing that was going on. Oh, I mean, that could have kissed. Which meant he would have been looking. Whew. Yeah, that took quite a few uh, quite a few pitches. I'll give him credit. All right, but let's go. What do we got? Still three to nothing. All right, let's keep going. Left fielder, Marlin. Just keep it rolling. Oh, bad pitch, but a worse swing. And I don't know if I've mentioned it. I probably have, because I know I mention and repeat a lot of things as I'm playing this game over and over and over again. But uh, I do have the, what, the MLB TV app, if you will. See, and the fact that they programmed that he had to push himself off the wall, that's what gave him a double. That's just irritating. Now batting, catcher, Roberto Lopez. Just bad programming. Like, he didn't need to do that. Bad pitch. Man. Oh. And again, why don't you try throwing the third and getting that guy? Your attention, please. For the I mean, I know you kind of want to, like, stop the bleeding, so to speak, but... Steven Lim. That one almost crept up and... Could have reached in to hit him. Okay, you put that bat back up. I'll start blowing him right by you. Uh. See, I still think you pick that up and laser it to the catcher, you can get the runner. Maybe that's just me. Just picks it up and lazily pats it in the glove a couple times, like... We could have got him at third, I think. Could have got him at home, I think. That's uh, not wait, but at least nobody else is on base. But if they were, there'd be no runs. 
So maybe that advances a guy. I don't know. Rick Ames. I'm Rick Ames. Burp. Burp. I'm saying Bip. I'm saying Bip Roberts. Remember him? You ever have his his upper deck 1991 San Diego Padres card? Cutter, and we're out of the inning with minimal damage. No perfecto. It's not a no-hitter. <clears throat> it's not a shutout. Let's get some insurance runs, though, huh, boys? Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Cardinals. Number six. When I'm the leadoff man, huh? Sam Tuivalala. <clears throat> Tuva, what? Yeah. Tua? What? Dolphins quarterback? Oh, uh, oh, get to the corner. There we go. I thought that was going to be up high enough. That's right. I'll just stop here. I'll just stop here. That's not a big problem for me. Now batting, right fielder, Jason. I mean, in a perfect pull shot too. I mean, a little more air under it. That thing's a, thing's a home run. Well, I don't know if I got that kind of power all the time. Nope. Ball one. Actually, I wonder. Maybe I should change my bat. I don't know. Okay, advance me. That's good. Now, Bryant, if it's not a home run, at least give it some distance, right? Chris Bryant. Preferably with with good height. Because you just line it right to him. That's a ball. Might not work the same. Well, let's uh, let's get that run back, huh? <laughs> okay, I guess. Yeah. Brian's just going to do the... Oh, was that in the upper deck? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'd be a little mad, too. You just come in and have to deal with, you know, this MVP caliber guy. Wow. I, I think that was an upper decker. Well, okay, third deck. I'm sorry. The end of the third deck. Yeah, so not, not ground level here. Not, not the... The banner that says Cardinals, the, the the banner that says the show 16. It's just up there. You can see the people are reaching for it now. So it's not the upper. That's a four-decker. I didn't really notice that. Oof. Still. Still pretty good. And it's five to one. That's right, because I was on base. So I was the four, and he was the five. Okay, that's what... Like five, we got an extra run. Oh, yeah, it was Bryant touching home. Out. Oh, That's good. Got the insurance run. Well, got the run back and insurance. Aye. A bad pitch, but the sweeping curveball, and he's out of here. Bud Hammonds, now look at you with a 160 right ERA. Well, 168. Steven Piscotti. Yeah, that game against Pittsburgh really, really hurt me. How was... Was it Syndergaard started off so great, or, or Darno? I forgot which guy. One of those Mets no studs. Ball, Remember, he was like 3-0, 27 innings pitched, That's a ball. three shutouts, like 94 strike. It was amazing. Doe. In baseball is just a weird sport like that. We're like, I, I'm not saying you know everything else has been done otherwise for every other sport. Two and two. Because the, like, look at you know how Steph Curry is just like, you know the the three pointer is now so big in basketball. Like everybody's taking three pointer shots, including like the big men. And it's like Steph Curry in one year. Ooh, yeah, he broke through. That's a cutter for a strikeout. Was Steph Curry, like, in what, in one year, made more three-pointers than Michael Jordan did his entire career? Something like that. Or, like, in the course of two years. It was absolutely insane. So, like, yeah, the, it takes a player to revolutionize the game, or players, or, or concepts, you know. I mean, you know, look at the NFL. There's a lot of, like, that, that read option, what do they call it? Oh, man, I'm just not paying Two attention balls, here. One strike. The play option read, the P-O-R. 
or the, the play action option, I don't know. But it's all out of the shotgun with that one running back. Is he going to hand it to him? Or is it going to be a pass play? Like, everything now is like shotgun read option, SRO. I think that's it. Not standing room only. Bad pitch. 93 pitches here in the seventh. That's kind of a lot. We got a full count. Three, <clears throat> yes, two. we do. Yes, we do. Oh, this guy just staying alive. See, it's batters like these that I hate dealing with. Oh, that bad pitch, but playable. So we got Javi Baez playing center. Did I see that right? <coughs> I mean, it doesn't really look like him, but I believe that is him. Whew, excuse me. Bases loaded, one out. The pitcher, Casey okay. Braxton. Don't put it in my sweet spots. It's only one run coming in, but still. I mean, he could have got me out at first. That's all right, RBI. Now batting, right fielder, well, I can take two steps now. Yeah, I, I don't know if I showed that last time, but with the sliders or the settings, something like that, pickoff attempts, Count dropped it all the way down. So, yeah, me, Mr. Steel Bases, they're not going to be checking me like that. Not as often. They still will. It's not like 0%. Oh, that's low. Well, now with 6-1, uh, to one, it's actually nice that they kept me batting. It's like, oh, you know what? Let's just get the pinch hitter going. Hey! We'll have, we'll have the, the bullpen work their stuff in the 8th and the ninth. I would generally think that means I'll at least get through the 8th. Oh, boy. Whew. And another solo run scores. Yeah, you're going to have to go, kid. Bryant, I mean, you did some damage last time. You want to double that amount? Now up 7 to 1. Looked low to me. Yeah, going back to Nashville, that was a fun time. It just was. Ball inside. Did some grilling, actually. Went to the pool at night. That was fun. At the and like the pool's heated. It wasn't like a hot tub, but the pool was heated at that hotel. Outdoor pool, you know, not like an enclosed kind of a thing. But the outdoor pool, so it's like we were out jumping around, went grab some drinks, and you know, okay, well let's start winding down. We got some stuff to do tomorrow. Oh, there's a shot. Bryant gonna drive me in again. Who else coming home? Who else got that's a bases clearing triple. Man. That? That's now ten, isn't it? I mean that's just that's just putting good wood on it. Twelve to one. Leading off for the Cardinals. Third baseman. Trent Servo. I know what those innings feel like, Pittsburgh. You know what's odd, too? One pitch out, that saves the arm. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, what's odd? Yeah, seven spot in the eighth. Oof. But uh, where this is the 2021 season, right? Andrew McCutcheon, it's a video game, right? Andrew McCutcheon is still a stud and a half. Already in real life, he has gone from Pittsburgh to Frisco, now with the Phillies, and, like, he's not hes not the same. He's diminished. He's, he's broken down a bit. He's not nearly the player he was. MVP caliber, you know. Whoa! Ole! Nice catch. Saves a hit. Oh, like, why not? Tip the cap. Roberto Lopez. Just a laser. Whoop! Just a good stretch right there. I don't think the strikeouts have been too strong for me today, I don't think. 
Ball that's outside. Yeah, I mean, now that we have this many runs scored, it's kind of like... One and one. You can leave me in and save the bullpen if it's needed. If they need some work, fine. I'd rather get the complete game. I got the count. One and two. Like, you know, if it's 12 to three, 12 to four. Okay, bring in the bullpen. Three! Oh, the dropper, and it dropped in perfectly. Pick up the bats, gentlemen. Oh, yeah. I th we might have been thinking about St. Louis for that trip. Might might have been. Hmm. Four for four with a double and three singles. That's pretty scary. Let's fake him. Oh, that was a normal swing. I didn't hit power. They still get him. I hit X. I did uh, like I normally use the square button for a power swing. I did not on that one. If I did, no, should I try stealing? No, it's twelve to one. That's it's kind of rubbing it in. Well, I guess any out was a good out for them. Well then. Your attention, please. K.H. Chris Davis. Uh, he was coming in from Oakland, if I remember. And another solid ball player. Oh, but you know what's weird? In, in, in real life, J.D. Martinez is still a stud. He was here with us last season. Nothing. I got the count. Completely Full diminished. Injury. Not nearly what he was. Like, video games? It's a weird one. Well, a good shot. I'll give you that, sir. But He's you're out, out, sir. I mean, if I can help it, I'm getting one strikeout this inning. Yeah. Part of me still says we could have avoided that run from scoring. We could have got him at third. Like, I know, well, just get the force out, the batter at going to first. I, I get that. But still, get rid of that, get rid of that front man, if you can. The dropper got him. All right. I don't know if he broke through. Don't make no difference to me because he's gone now. now Whatever. Center fielder, Rick Ames. Oh, inside. Thought I was going to get that one inside and peg him. One and one. Ooh-wee. Oh no, what am I doing? It's like, no, screw it up, Mike, screw it up however you have to. And right down the middle. Perfect timing, the cutter gets him looking with the frozen pitch. Woof. Kind of didn't care what that previous pitch was going to be, so long as it wasn't a home run. So there we go, uh, a heck of a game. 11 strikeouts, so that's good. More strikeouts than innings pitched. Bryant is the player of the game. Yeah, man, because he had at least five RBI. I mean, three on that triple, and then the two-run homer. And yeah, man, he had a day. Five RBI is a pretty good game. Hey, 11 strikeouts is fine, don't get me wrong. I mean, unless I had a, a, a shutout or a perfecto, no, they'd be like really the only difference. Struck out the third, and then two in the ninth. Close it out nicely. Actually, I needed at least one of those, because it would have been nine for nine. Four complete games in a season with 100 strikeouts quality, uh, complete game quality starting to win 725 points. So let's save up and get moving. Woo! Just about 10 o'clock here. Oh, almost saved over the wrong thing. I've been farting around with uh, my, my center fielder, Fast Eddie Brooks. Just playing along with that off camera. Again, I don't know if that's something that I would do on camera, a position player. It'd just be a little too much, I think. Got the win, the win. Do we sweep them? 
Yes, we do. Pitch command, let's stop simulating. Let's go do our thing. User settings on beginner difficulty. Pitch command training, let's go do that really quick. Lurk and twerk time for Lone Star. I, I ain't checked in with him in a while. I think I still got him pretty high on my, uh, on my auto stream list. Or auto host, excuse me. Woo! Well, there you go. That's good. Let's just do it. Beautiful day in Wrigley. I can't hit nothing. It's on beginner, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, does it slow down a little bit? Because it's on beginner? I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Mans. Mans. <clears throat> Bow. Oh, who else is jumping in the mix here? Who else do we got? Don't mind me, just doing some training right now. Yeah, I'll dumb down the difficulty to do this and just give me my 400 points. That's all. I'm still not hitting bullseyes here. Like, what? what's wrong with me? Can't do perfect timing. I mean, that's the bullseye, but, well, you know. And remember, with, with my career with Derek Metzger, oof, because that was on, what, that was all-star difficulty? I couldn't get, I couldn't do this. Like, how was I completing games? Not to say complete games, but how was I finishing games? I mean, right now, just, it's one step down from, well, for training, I dumbed it down to beginner pitching for this. Like, in-game, it's, you know, it's veteran difficulty. And it still gets irritating at times. That's what we need, those dead center bullseye shots. I mean, I have control maxed out. And I have, what, everything except BB-9 is maxed. Well, stamina is 95, but, you know. What, H9, HR9, K9, that's all maxed out. With some, like, adjusted perks for, you know, equipment that I'm wearing, etc. And still, there are days like, I don't know how to pitch. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I will take my, well, 1,200 points to get a gold medal, so to speak, and it's 400 training points. Whew! So, back to veteran... Apply the changes. Let's just save it again. I think I got a couple more games to simulate till my next appearance. The mighty Casey Braxton struck out 11. That's right. Okay, so we swept St. Louis. 5 to 1, 12 to 1, 9 to 6. That's good. Uh, Philly, what do we got? A win. A loss. <clears throat> that was not me. What? No, it couldn't have been, because that's one, two, three, four, five. I'll get the Dodger game going. And a loss, so we lost that series. We're at home for this Dodger game. Um, what about training and perks? What are we... Nothing Nothing dipping right now? Good. So let's do a quick save. I'm going to uh, do a quick bathroom break. I'm drinking from my new, my real copper mug. The old one was the copper mug of awesomeness. This one is... Well, this is the real copper mug. I will be right back. Give me a minute or two, huh?
Don't mind me. Coming back now. Going right back now. Just a quick flip it and zip it. So we got a lot of training points, and I'm still thinking, like, what else do I do? I don't think I need another pitch, per se. But do I enhance my batting to some degree? Fielding speed? What did I just do? Let me not do that. Anyway, let's let's play the game, huh? Let's do that. Choose the uni. Now there's pinstripes. There's two kinds. I think let's go with the standard. Didn't we look at that uh, the last episode? Like, there's that blue V, well, that blue collar around the V-neck. Five game lead in the division. Cardinals are really struggling, huh? You wouldn't think that. I mean, they got some players out there. Wow, some people. Well, what do they got for me? Winning the Cy Young, is that the whole to-do? Yes, it is. Well, we, we know about this. And I'll probably win it again this year, too. And I'll probably continue to win it. They will rename the National League Cy Young Award the Casey Braxton Award. But wouldn't that be something? No, I, I mean, they, they should never really do that. Like, the Stanley Cup, never rename it. The Lombardi Trophy, never rename it. Was it the Larry O'Brien? You never rename it. You just don't. Cy Young, Hank Aaron, you just don't rename them. Leading you don't. The Dodgers, the I don't care if somebody else better comes along. Well, first batter, and he's going to get on. He's not that fast, though. 69 speed. Not the start I would have wanted. In the second spot tonight, James Jones. James Jones. Hee haw! Hee haw or hee haw? Remember that show? Remember hee haw? No? That should be playable! Oh, it was playable. Just out of range. Oh. How you make contact with that sometimes, I just wonder. Not a good One start for me. Count. It's a little it's a little wonky, I guess. Oh That's ball. Mm. Left it hanging. Oh boy. Wow, that's that's grand. Mm. No, he's in there. It was Hayward. He would have had it. Rough start already with the freaking Dodgers, man. Shortstop, Corey Seager. How wide were we? That's a two-run shot, huh? Baby Jesus. How wide was second and short? Batting four. Second man. Brian I don't have an out yet. They got two runs. Brian Dozier actually retired for the start of the 2021 season. But here he is still raking with the Dodgers. Well, if you could have told him that. Hey, 2021, you're going to go to the Dodgers. You want to do that? Just hang around one more year? I suppose. Sweeping curveball gets in, but we're already in such a deficit. Like, I'm not going to feel good till we have, like, a three-run lead, so we need at least five today. It's like, if a team starts on me, hey, I'd rather them start early. And start building up late, you know? Like, oh, it's a close game or something like that, or we only have one or two runs, and then... Cutter. Then we get one of those innings where it's like... Yeah, they score... Two, three, four exactly. runs. It's like, man, come on, Here's we had man. the lead. Jason Cleary. Oh one. You know what? Just the first couple batters, and now nobody can even touch the ball. Ball. He's well, in let's there. Let's not get too crazy with the throw there, kid. 
Let's not lose it. So yeah, now that he steals second, like... Okay. Man. Yeah. Way too many pitches for inning one. Jeez. He was looking power right there, too. I think. No, that's out. Go. Well, we're already past the 20 pitch count here. Rough go. You know, I'll take the dropper for the strikeout. I'd be very angry if I were him. Now check me if I'm wrong. All three outs were strikeouts. But they got a 2 to nothing lead. Domingo Santana. For the Dodgers, nothing for us. The right fielder, number 16. Domingo Santana. I wonder if there's, a, like, if they show the stat, like, what my ERA or whatever is. Because left-handers, I feel, for some reason, the Dodgers had, for years now, a bunch of lefties that would confuse me. Not confuse me, just get me. They would just get my stuff. Pablo Sandoval, who is still playing, by the way, I think for the Atlanta Braves. Big man, you ain't kidding. Nice little, I guess, a panning down shot. I thought panning was left to right. What's the what's the video term? The film term for top to bottom? Scanning and panning? I forgot. Unless it's all panning, I don't know. Ball out! Robin Williams in the movie Hook was Peter panning, so I... Uh, what does that mean? Oh. Bad two pitch. And two. That was all me. Shout out to right. Oh, you're going to get this one. Well, that's fun. Yeah, because that stuff in the first inning, like, he ran absolutely to the wall Adding and missed it. <clears throat> David Andrade. Andrade. I could use some quick innings or just no straight won. strikeouts, you know? One, two, three out, one, two, three out, one, two, three out. Some immaculates. Oh, and two. Let me get some immaculates, huh? That's still nine pitches. Ball. Which, and if I try One to save, if that's going to save my arm, it kind of doesn't. The damage has been done. I see bad pitch. At least someone get there. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get out of this thing. Let's pick up the bats and start doing some damage, kids. Middle of the second. And still nothing doing, and I haven't picked up the bat yet. Left fielder, Gerardo Parra. That's a ball. More out than in, but fine. Oof. Well, that's a strike, so oh well. <clears throat> Whoa, that's up there. And again, this guy's got to run for it. Well, three pitches, that's fine. I need to do a lot of that. Three pitches or less to get some outs. Yeah, see a lefty. Here's another lefty. And this guy's got the wheels. I don't know why he's not the leadoff man. Oh, and two. All right, then. Too high. Ball. One ball, two strikes. Oh. Ball. I mean, you could have called strike. I mean, that wouldn't have hurt me none. Mm. Nope. Ball. We got a full count. Yes, we do, don't we? But he goes right through that cutter. I don't know what he was looking for. Seems like every time it's a full count and I need a strike, the catcher is always Look going to call for a cutter. Shortstop. Always. Corey I don't know, why, why call, oh, sweeper, 12 to 6. Get the curve going. Nope, ball. Jeez, that one. 
Yeah, I don't think Skipper likes what I'm doing out here today. I don't like what I'm doing out here today against the Dodgers. Now, granted, they started quick. Doesn't look far enough. Okay. Three pitches. Let's get some runs here, fellas. Let's do something, huh? One out. Nobody on. Okay. Come on. Can't even help my own cause. Bring it along. Bring it along. Solid base hit. All right. Now batting. Well, Brian, I mean, you've been Mr. Damage in this episode, so let's try that again. That'd be great. Well, I tell you what, I could probably steal on this guy. Unless he tries to pick me off. He must have heard me through the microphone. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Brian, I don't know what you're looking for, but you're going to have to do something. He's out. He's out. Grounds into the double play and the inning's over. Back to the mound. Check me if I'm wrong, Brian Dozier, his, his old baseline. career Brian. was with the Twins, I think. And, like, you like hearing stories about, you know, 